Hi guys. Hi. I'm here with my wife Cheryl. Hello. We're going to be trying a new format to bring some updates out to you. Really and exciting ones. Yeah, we've got Super some exciting. awesome, exciting updates to share. So it was three weeks ago that I did the last update, and since that time, there have been a couple really, really cool developments. So without further ado, the first one that I want to talk about is, guys, we hit our 50K, okay? And that's huge because 50K means we now are visible on the WeFunder site, we're able to be in the newsletter, and just this afternoon, I was in a meeting this afternoon, and all of a sudden, my, my phone was blowing up, and I'm like, what's going on? It was all of the WeFunder investments coming in literally minutes after this newsletter went out. So we shot up from just squeaking above 50K to suddenly almost $70,000 in the matter of a few hours. It was crazy. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. You. Yeah, without your support, without believing in who we are and what we are, sharing the word and getting that word out, we wouldn't be anywhere. It'd just be some crazy dude talking to a camera somewhere, me, and you'd be having <laughs> to deal with me. But guys, it's because of you that we're here. So please spread the word. If you can talk to people, friends, family, just get the word out about what we're doing, how we're trying to help make the world a better place, what we're trying to do to bring good products to our customers. That's really what this is all about. And it's all possible. It's all here because of you. So thank you. All right. So let's talk about Northumbria. Northumbria University. And before you're like, wait, who's Northumbria? So we had five universities that applied to us over the past couple months to work with us on our research project. We submitted a proposal to the Manufacturing PA Initiative and that generated a whole bunch of interest in Harmony Turbines with these universities. And I'll say prestigious universities because that's no joke. So we had to turn down two of them I was a little bit worried about working with three, but the way we have it set up, they're each doing a different thing. So we are working with three universities. The first one is Bucknell University. The second one was Northumbria University out of the UK. And the third one now is Penn State University. So Northumbria just two days ago got off of a call with me. We did a Zoom call and they were so excited to tell me their grant has been approved. So, guys, they got 100,000 British pounds. And that's like, what, uh, how much? 132,000, okay, I looked it up, I cheated. <laughs> it's like 132,000 US dollars. So Northumbria University, boom, that chunk of money is theirs to do with as they please. Now their, pro their project proposal is all about our turbines and the efficiency of our turbines they're gonna be looking at all kinds of computational fluid dynamics. We're gonna put a link in this video for where the job is posted. They're looking for either a PhD or a master's degree student to do that computational fluid dynamics work. It's a four year project and all of the details will be in the link for the person they're looking for to fulfill this role. So the project has been approved, the money has been approved. All we need to do is find the person now to get the project rolling. And what a cool project to work on as a PhD or master's student. This is yeah. like real life, uh, it's game changing yeah. information and a game changing project. So if you are one of those students out there looking for something amazing to do, uh, definitely check it out. Yeah. Guys, this is something that they're looking to publish all kinds of data on what it is we're doing. When they took a look at our technology, they were excited because they saw the potential here. There's no other turbines out there on the market can, that can do the furling like we can, that have the ability to reduce their cross section and high winds. We've got it. Not only do we have it, but we have it patented twice. So this is really exciting news. It was huge. Um, wanted to get this out as quickly as possible. All right. So who are your other universities? Well, well you, I guess you I have said, that. yeah, that's but, all right. All right. But you said you were worried about working with three universities, but the way we have the project set up, it's actually going to work. So Northumbria University, as we just said, is doing all the analysis on how to make these turbines better. They're gonna be looking at furling states, they're gonna be looking at efficiencies and maximizing, maybe even helping us change the design, tweaking the design, I'll say, if, if we find that there's a little bit better shape to use and things like that. But 
if we roll it back to the first university that we signed with, which is Bucknell, they have two wind tunnels. Bucknell has two wind tunnels in their department, and then they have a whole bunch of hard points up on their engineering building. I want to go there as so soon as possible. Actually be able to put harmony yeah. up on their roof. So we're going to take that four foot, the white one that has been in numerous videos that I've had, that's going to be up on Bucknell's roof on their hard points sitting up there. And we're probably going to have to put a bubble around that or build some enclosure to keep it safe, keep it out of the weather because it's not built to withstand the weather and everything right now. It was a prototype, but it's going to be able to give us real time data. Then in the wind tunnels, we will be printing with Protocam, our partner, we're going to be printing a whole bunch of little units, little tiny harmonies that are going to be one of them will be 100% open, the next one will be like 95% open, then 90% open, then 85, 80, so on and so forth. They'll be static units, but they'll be testing them in all kinds of wind ranges. So then we'll be able to plot on graphs how these little wind turbines perform at the various furling states. Huge, incredible amount of data that's going to come in. There's going to be thousands, well, maybe thousands of data points here that have to be plotted in all kinds of wind speeds and conditions and then all kinds of furling states that'll be correlated and cross-referenced. That's going to be a really, really exciting and amazing paper that they finally produce and the results from that project. Um, Penn State. Penn State is, they just, four days ago, I think it was, just got their project proposal submitted to the manufacturing PA initiative. So now they are the third college or third university, I'm sorry, to submit their project proposal to this program. So theirs is in, theirs is submitted. Bucknell and Penn State will hear back um, probably in March of 2022, whether or not they've, um, their grants come through for their proposals. And Penn State, has a really, really cool, it's Penn State Burke's campus. They have a water tank that they actually submerge these little wind turbines in, hmm. and then water is a fluid, just like air. It's thicker, but you can put dye in it, you can do all kinds of things, and they have the ability, they're gonna be looking at clustering effects. So they're gonna, we're gonna print a bunch of them, probably all at just 100% open. We may go and do a bunch of them at, um, you know, a different furling state or something, maybe, maybe 80% open, but they'll be putting them in and then we'll be rotating and changing the direction of the grid. We'll be changing the clustering configurations. They're going to be doing all kinds of clustering effect studies to see how these perform in close proximity to one another to determine if we have higher efficiencies in certain clustered configurations. There was some really cool data that came out from Oxford University a little while back that clustered vertical axis wind turbines can be up to 15% more efficient. Well, Penn State and um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say her name, but she's a really awesome <laughs> <laughs> professor. Probably not yet. <laughs> I'll release that name when I'm allowed to. She probably wouldn't care. But anyway, she's excited because she has some really cool ideas about taking it to the next level with looking at all kinds of different data and clustering effects with these wind turbines, these little miniature turbines that we put in the water. So I think that's everything. Did I cover everything on our little paper? No, because oh. I heard a rumor okay. that a certain website featured you and you totally dropped the ball. That was the rumor I heard. Was that my fault? From you. <laughs> Probably. All right, green.org guys. I'm sorry, I like, I totally dropped the ball. Two weeks ago, I think it was, we were featured on green.org. You can go there now, green.org, and you can look, you'll have to look down now because I was a loser and dropped the ball. But we are on their website. We were featured right at the top of their website. They did a really nice write-up on us, green.org, awesome job. Um, there's, you know, a lot of cool things starting to happen. We're getting phone calls from, it's almost happening weekly now, different organizations, different groups. I have a really big one that I'm not going to say because I don't want to jinx it, but you guys are going to like this if this next one happens. I have a call set up. I know. I have a call set up Monday. So if it works and the producer is happy, then I'll send some information or I'll put some information out. <laughs> All right. I'll be good. So is that it? What about now that we have reached 50,000 in the campaign, mm -hmm. what are your plans if we actually get 
quite a bit more funding. All right, the generator, guys. The generator is everywhere that I've wanted to be in the last, I don't know, year, but we couldn't afford it. We had no way to do the generator because to do it wrong would be worse than just holding off and not doing it at all. If we get sufficient funding, and we've got some really cool momentum right now, if we get some good and substantial funding, we're talking maybe north of 200K here, then we are definitely jumping into development of our proprietary generator. And I'll remind you, we have two patents on our technology. So I threw a $10 bill out in my last Thanksgiving update and said, I'll bet you that 95% of you did not know that we had two technologies patented. We have our turbine scoops, the part that is spinning in the wind and can do the furling, but then down below, the generator is also patented, guys, and that is the coolest freaking technology. It's awesome. And these universities were, they were loving it. We are actually looking at, I'm, I'm digressing, I apologize, but we are, we've put our feelers out. Now that we're connected to all these universities, feelers have gone out all over the place. They're trying to help me find a person, an expert to work with to help fast track our generator development. So if you, our audience out there, if you guys know of anyone who is an expert in electromagnetic, you know, I don't even know exactly what the focus would be. It's some, you know, high level engineering electromagnetics focus. Send them our way. Send them our email. Send, have them call me something because we're looking for someone to work with. And if we get sufficient funding, we're going to be hopping into that as soon as possible. Um, we'll get one or two engineers on the payroll. We'll be looking at turning out as quickly as possible, getting to the point where we can have our Mark I generator at least functioning so that we can begin testing it with our turbine scoops. And that would be amazing because we're not gonna need to do any gearing. We're not gonna need to do if- It's if, incredible. Yeah, if everything goes <laughs> the way it's- show you. <laughs> if everything goes the way it's planned, um, we might not even need charge controllers with these generators, so. It's, to, it's amazing. to say it could be game changing is an understatement, but we'll let the technology kind of speak for itself when you get to finally see it. All right. I think that's I it. Think that's it for this update. All right. We'll say Merry Christmas and Happy Merry Holidays. Christmas. It is the 16th of December right now and Christmas is around the corner. So who knows if we get something really cool that happens before Christmas, maybe we'll put another update out. If not, then after the new year, we'll see. Yep. But that's it for now. Thank you for believing in us. Thank, Thank you, you for helping to support us. It's because of you that we're here. It's because of your belief in our project and your support of what we're doing, of our efforts, that we're here and we are where we are today. So thank yes. you. Please spread the word, share the word of what we're doing with your friends and family. There's a lot of people out there that want to help make the world a better place. And if they can find companies like us, then that synergy begins working together to help make things, good things happen. So thank you. Thank you to everyone and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Okay. That was good. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah, I think it went really well. I feel like a news anchor. Yeah. kind of interesting to do it in this format. <laughs> yeah. News anchor Cheryl. Mm. Don't know. News at eight. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony News. <laughs> Harmony Turbines News. Uh -huh. All right.